like it. I, I think it tastes great. My brother thinks I'm a freak, but. So what I want to talk about next is wild lettuce. Does everybody know what wild lettuce looks like? No. It's everywhere. This is only Verosa, um, the picture, but if you do a Google image search of wild lettuce, you'll find Seriola and uh, uh, a couple other Lactuca varieties. You will recognize this. Sometimes when they're young, people mistake it for dandelion. This is another name for it is spiny lettuce. Okay, it grows up and has all those little yellow flowers that come off like dandelions, but it's like a thousand of them per plant, and it has those spiny jaggedy leaves that come off. It's in everybody's yard and lawn yeah, and driveways. It is everywhere. It's you you uh, you cut it and the milk comes out of it. Okay, all right. That's wild lettuce. And it is a relative of the lettuce you eat, okay? Lactuca sativa is our variety of edible lettuce, okay? This is Verosa or Seriola or Canadensis, which is really, really popular around here. Um, let's talk about wild lettuce. What you're after is either that sap or the leaves that contain that sap, okay? The Hopi Indians would take Verosa and they'd chop it off because Verosa gets a really big stem. They'd chop it off and like opium farmers, they'd wait for that sap to dry and they'd scrape it, cut it off again, scrape it, cut it off, and they would get these balls of dried nasty gooey sap and they would make teas out of it for pain relief, okay? It has, a, it, it, as a matter of fact, during the Victorian period, pharmacists were selling balls of it and calling it lettuce opium because of its pain relieving quality, okay? Now, we can't really call it an analgesic. It does not cut the nerve signals of pain to your brain like opium does. It doesn't link up to any type of opioid or, or serotonin receptor that causes pain relief. It's more of what we consider an anodyne. An anodyne is something that allows the body to deal with pain better and kind of strengthens it against pain reactions, okay? But it works so well that, that a single dose can help with pain, okay? I use, speaking of my migraines, okay, I use wild lettuce, tea, or tincture for migraines, very, very commonly. I like to mix it with chamomile, because really it tastes like a match head. It's nasty, wild lettuce is horrible. So I like to mix it with chamomile, um, and maybe, maybe some catnip, and some skullcap. Which, which helps with the, the nerve reaction stuff with migraines going on and stuff. And I like to make a tea out of that and I'll drink a couple cups of that and an hour or so later my migraine's gone. Works really good, okay? Wild lettuce is great, but it's, oh, it's horrible, yeah. So it doesn't work with the neuroreceptors at all? Mm -mm. Like no, no, it, it, it works. Uh, it has a little bit of an anti-inflammatory function. Um, well, and saying neuroreceptors, I, it probably does, but they haven't identified which one specifically. So they call it an analgesic slash anodyne, um, but uh, to be a true analgesic, you have to block, you have, you have to be an NSAID, basically, to be a true analgesic. And that is white willow. That is a true analgesic, um, because it's aspirin. It's basically the same thing as aspirin. So that's a true analgesic. Um, while lettuce is not, but it does help with pain quite a bit, especially bone pain. Uh, sprains and bone ligament pains, it helps really a lot with that. Um, and headaches, like I said, but it's horrible. It really is. It tastes like a burnt match head. If you've ever done that when you were a kid with the burnt match, and then I was like, oh, it's horrible. But it, but it works really, really good. Um, and it's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, the last one I want to talk about is red raspberry leaf. Okay. Red raspberry leaf is great for females. It's great for men too. <laughs>